Today I'm going to share with you my top 10 drugstore items. These are the 10 items I use every single day and the items that I have bought multiples of. I have gone through a lot of products in my life and spent a lot of money from high end to low end. So I'm gonna share those with you today. But before we get started, my name is Jennifer. If you are new here, I make videos weekly on money, minimalism, and leading a meaningful life. If any of that interests you, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, the first thing I'm going to talk about is hair care. So I have thin hair, but a lot of it. I can't do a whole lot with it. Like it won't keep style. It's thin. Um, it's currently in the growing out stage right now, which means it's like very awkward back here. Um, I had it really short. I go really long. I also no longer color treat my hair. I did in the past. Um, so this is completely my natural color. I haven't turned gray yet, but if I do, I'm going to embrace it because I think gray hair is really pretty actually. I have tried a lot of hair care stuff and what I found is just to keep it simple. I have literally used the very expensive stuff that you can get at Sephora. What I would do when I was trying it out is I would get like the travel size and order that. And I just found that nothing did anything to my hair better than these two products. So I use the Pantene Pro-V Daily Moisture Renewal Shampoo and Conditioner every single day. Um, I think that you can buy these together at the store. I think it's less than 10 bucks for both of them, but um, they're you know 12 ounces each and these are my backups. I always have a backup. Sometimes you can find coupons on them so you can get them for an even bigger discount. In the past, I also used mousses, different sprays, texturizers, whatever it was to try to get my hair to be, you know, more voluminous. But again, I just found that the more natural I went, the, the better my hair was. So the only thing I use also on top of just shampoo and conditioner is hairspray. And it's again, the Pantene hairspray. This is the Pantene Pro-V Air Spray. Um, and also I've tried like the ones that are just uh, the regular spray and those are so wet that they, they weigh my hair down. So I use just a little bit of this uh, on my hair just to keep it in place because of the flyaways can get out of control. So these are the only three items that I use on my hair. Before we get further into it, I do want to let you know I'm going to link everything that I can down below so that if you're not able to get to a store to get this, that you can maybe just order it quickly and it can get here in case you guys want to try out any of these products. I'm going to do skincare uh, closer to the end. First, I'm going to talk about the three makeup products that I use every single day. I do not wear face makeup. I only wear eyebrows. Um, Eyebrow. I only wear eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I wear them all the time. They're, they're on my face. I've shared some of these before, but I thought I needed to mention them again. The first one is the Maybelline um, Total Temptations Eye Definer. This thing is amazing. This is my backup. I order them on Amazon in a set of two and I use the blonde, but this has the best triangular uh, pencil. It's not even a pencil. It's more like a, a, a hard cream and it just works flawlessly. You do not have to be precise with it and it can go on quickly. You do not have to do an amazing job if you just want to head out the door. So oftentimes this is the only one that I will even use if I don't plan on seeing a whole lot of people. And then to keep my eyebrows in place because they can get a little crazy, I use the cover grip. <laughs> I use the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow in just clear. I like this. Now, I know there are some mascaras that you can buy in just clear um, for your eyebrows to set them, but this has a little bitty spoolie, so it's much easier to use, and it's not as wet as I find that some clear mas mascaras that are, you know, can be used for that purpose are. The last one that I use, and it's kind of beat up, and I need to get another one, is my favorite mascara and it is the voluminous it's like the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise and i do not get the waterproof one because that one flakes a lot this one does not but those are the three things that i will make sure that i have on hand and have backups of before we get to my skincare i want to mention this is my favorite thing yes this is the best lotion out there this is the nivea Essentially Enriched 48 Hour Deep Nourishing Serum and Almond Oil. Dry to very dry skin. I um, 
shower two times a day. Um, I just have to, and I literally lather up in this two times a day. I know I have taken away the natural moisture of my own skin. I get it. Um, but this stuff lasts forever. It does not feel dry. It does not feel sticky. It does not have a scent to it. Um, I go through these things Oh, well, it's a big bottle, but I have probably used this for two years now. A lot of these things I've used for over two years. Actually, I think all of them. So they are tried and true, and this is just a great moisturizer if you do not like to have dry skin. And trust me, I am trying to anti-age everywhere because even skin on your body needs lotion so that it doesn't start looking, you know, all saggy etc later on in life and then on my lips I always use this Vaseline lip therapy I mean people talk about the the Sarah Hat lip scrub and all this stuff that's so expensive but honestly just a good uh, Vaseline you know lip therapy for your lips I keep these little containers of them everywhere there's one in my purse there's one at work there's one in the drawer in the bathroom I keep one in my daughter's um the bag we take with her whenever we're going anywhere there's one in the car I love these guys so my skin is naturally very sensitive and it is combination oily dry it really just depends I have had skin issues from the time I was a teenager and tried everything i don't want to even try to go into this video and tell you everything that i've tried there are two products that i use on my skin and that is it and that's and i am 30 almost 37 so this is my skin and i've used these products for uh, a couple of years now and every time i try to add maybe an oil or a serum or a toner into it I start to break out so these two are tried and true tested and work for me obviously they not, may not work for everybody but it might be an option for you to try and see if they work the first is the oil free acne wash from Neutrogena um, it is the cream cleanser micro clear technology effective yet gentle acne cleanser it's got sicilic acid treatment uh, Sicilic acid acne treatment. So I get acne. I get clogged pores. I use this thing twice a day It's it does not sting. It is a it is literally what it says it is which is a gentle cleanser It's just a good cleanser. I keep this in my shower use it in the morning use it at night It just it takes everything off and it really does keep my skin very um uh, clear in comparison to what it used to be it really does work for me and this one is something I am out of as far as a backup and I have got to go find more of them it is the CeraVe skin renewing night cream this is a moisturizer and I use this thing I use this uh, morning and night and it says it's a renewing night cream but I just like the rest of me, I have to have hydrated lips, I have to have a hydrated body, and I have to have a hydrated face. So I use this thing any time of day, and it is amazing. I do not need to add anything to it. So literally, I have two products. So for those of you who have asked, these are my two skincare products. This is it. This is all I use. I think if you over uh, manipulate your skin or use too much product, then you actually cause more harm than good. And these two together just are the perfect combination for me and they're drugstore and they're so exp inexpensive, it's, it's great. So that is it for my 10 products from the drugstore that I use literally every single day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe down below. I would love to have you back for more videos.